In this video, we are going to demystify the manifold apparatus. A typical setup at Yale is shown here, with the manifold below connected to the transducer above. All will be revealed in this video, so sit back, have a cappuccino, and enjoy. If you were to remove a valve from a Yale manifold, you would see something like this. It in fact is a three-way or a T-shaped junction. There are markings on the side of the valve that show where the T-junction is. If you look closely, there are arrow indentations on the side of the valve that correspond to the location of the openings. There is another one at the end of the long handle. Here is another demonstration of a valve. There is an opening at 9 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and another corresponding to the handle at 3 o'clock. Turning the handle upwards will also turn the T-valve and change its orientation. Turning it further will continue to change the orientation of the valve. And here it is pointed downwards. Now every valve is positioned within a junction point. This one corresponds to what you see in the yellow circle on the left. With the handle oriented as it is, you can allow for flow along the direction of the opening between the left and the right. This dotted line demonstrates the direction of flow allowed with the valve in this position. Turning the valve to face up will change the formation of the junction. And now we have a different type of communication possible. Now we can communicate between the sidearm and the port to the right, as you see here. And turning the handle down, as you see here, will allow for communication along this path. So let's get started and look at a manifold as we have in the top left. The right port is for contrast. The other communicates with the transducer or the saline tubing. The top left is the default position with the middle valve pointing down. This default position allows us to measure pressures. The inject position is shown at the bottom left, where all the valves are turned to the right and aligned to allow for forward injection. The video to the right demonstrates the same thing. There is a default position in the video. And here we demonstrate how turning the right valve upwards will allow communication with the contrast port, which allows us to withdraw contrast. Then we can go into inject mode and inject forward. And now back to default position again. 
and there it is one more time and inject and back to default now here is a very important point the manifold valves that we use are shown on the left and you can see the orientation of the openings but the valves that are found within our transducers are different they have different notches which are at 12 3 and 6 o'clock and they correspond to the openings if you look at the diagrams that are corresponding to them you will see that they are designed entirely differently and their openings are aligned differently now armed with that knowledge let's look at a transducer setup used for right heart catheterization to help remind you the valve apparatus is also depicted on the right so here we see the tubing that leads to the swan gans catheter to the left is saline from a pressurized bag And down below is the pressure transducer and you notice that they all communicate via a network of valves speaking of valves this is how the valves are currently aligned now with this setup you will see that the pressure transducer is effectively communicating with the air this is how we zero our transducer now if we were to change and turn the middle valve 180 degrees to the right but keep the other valves as they are this would happen now you will see that the transducer is in direct communication with the swan gans catheter and this is how you can measure right heart pressures now if we were to change just one other thing which is to move the valve adjacent to the saline port 90 degrees away from us this would lead to alignment of the valves like this and it would allow for the saline to come down it could not get past the pressure transducer because it's a dead end it would just lead to a bump in the recorded pressure but it can also take the path of the tubing that is supplying the swan gans catheter so you can use this to flush your swan gans catheter the setup for left heart catheterization is just the same but with two pressure transducers in case you need them but you rarely do so here's what we're going to do we're just going to block out one half and you will see that for left heart catheterization the setup is exactly the same for right heart catheterization you have tubing that goes to the manifold and you have saline tubing and you have your valves oriented like this and if they're oriented like this just as you've seen before you can zero to room air and just as before if you flip the middle valve 180 degrees to the right this will change the configuration of that valve and allow a communication between your transducer and the pressure at the manifold and also just like before if you flip the valve on the left 90 degrees away you will allow for saline to pour towards the manifold tubing
Now let's see it all together. Both manifold and transducer. The manifold is now at the default position. We are going to turn the transducer to zero there, turning it back to measure pressure. And we're now turning the saline valve away so that we can feed saline down towards our apparatus. This is back to zero position, back to pressure, saline on, and we're now directing the saline through the manifold that's dripping out the front as you see here. If we turn the middle valve away, this will allow the saline to pressure back into the chamber. Here it is going forward again. I've turned off the saline and now I'm drawing up contrast into the chamber. We're going to go into neutral default position here. And we can inject forward out of the chamber. A very important rule is to tilt any chamber that carries injectable fluids plunger side up so as to prevent air injection. The next time you're in the lab, practice hooking up and using a manifold inducer system and you will rapidly gain confidence with it.